Good evening, everybody. Do you know how to access a power port? Sit back and think about that, and I'll be right back with you. Everybody, and I'm back. So back in 2014, I had to get a port, and um, the port I got is a power port. And the reason I had to get one is because I've had so many surgeries and so much vascular access that my veins, um, I just don't have any access anymore, no matter where you go. Uh, the only way I can, you can get blood from me is through a central line, which is right up in here and uh or a port um i can't even get blood drawn uh with a uh, pick line because i can't get it threaded through my vein so earlier today i deaccessed my port um because i needed to change it and so before i wanted to take a shower then um Reaccess my port because it, it there's nothing like taking your deaccessing your port and taking a full shower. Um, there's been a few days this week that I have had to take a shower in my shower chair. Um, a couple of times I've done it to keep some water off of my port. Other times it's been because I just didn't really feel good and. I was tired, and the best way to take a shower is to just get in my shower chair, use a high, my shower head down, and just tap, take a shower. And I do feel clean, and I am clean, but nothing like standing up in the shower. So, um, I am here in the bathroom, and my everything here has been disinfected, cleaned, everything. I always do it here in the bathroom. Um, I... When I do this, I'm not, I don't do every step that you're supposed to do. Um, and the reason why I do this is because my body is used to my germs. Um, so, with me, you need a dressing kit. So, I have my dressing kit. In my dressing kit, I have... Um, the actual um, dressing that's going to go over my needle and my port and the dressing in it itself I'm allergic to. So I have to use an IV Opsite which has no tape in it. It's just a tegaderm that goes over there and it, right now it's still very sticky and the easiest way to get the stickiness off is with rubbing alcohol but um sometimes it's not doesn't do it and so it's sticky uh the other things that you need are you need your valve this goes at the end of the uh port the needle you need a bio patch and this is the cushioning between your body and your pore, and it also keeps down any bacteria. Not everybody uses these things, they're skin preps. I use them both. Um, I use a different brand with my ostomy. Um, but I use these with my ostomy and with my port care. Reason I use a different brand then the ones that come in the dressing kit is because they're not as good as the other ones. Um, so if you want a good snug fit, then you do that. Um, and also, you need your Huber needle. Um, this is not, this is a WinSafe Huber needle. Um, there are other needles. Um, but I use a seven and a half, I think is what I use. It's a 22 gauge point seven, seven, five inches. That is the perfect, perfect size for me. 
Um, they come in different sizes and different brands, and but they're all the same as long as you get the same size. This is the brand they use in the hospitals. Um, when I first got my port, uh, they were sending me different things to try. And I told them, okay, well, send me a couple of these because if I have to go to the hospital and I'm not access to this and not the de-access and access myself because I get questioned what type of port I have, if it's a power port, um, if it's just a, it's just a port just to, you know, utilize for blood draws. A power port allows for IV, um, CAT scans, of MRIs for the dyes to be injected. It has to be able to um, handle fast, um, I don't know what word I'm looking for, fast injections. And not all needles can handle that. So you have to make sure you have the right um, needle for the right port. This one's too big. I, I, I've tried using these and I just can't, I can't use them. One, they're too long. Two, they're too big. And there's also another thing that I like. And it is part of my um, Optimi supplies. I actually like using this. Hold on a moment. Okay, so what I'm going to show you is the Bravo Barrier Strips, and um, I use these, and I get them for, um, to use around my, um, my flange. Some people don't know it as a flange, they only know it as a, a skin barrier, um, which goes on before you attach your ostomy bag to it. Um, but I use it, uh, for one of two things. I cut it in half. Sometimes whenever I put my, my needle in and, you know, you flush it a couple of times, you make sure you're getting blood return, um, and, you know, then you put your thing on and then after you get on, it's like, it's not flushing as well, blah, blah, blah. So, but then you put your brain, your, your hand back on it just a little bit. Then it's easier to do because what's happened is the off kind of tugged down on it. So, what I do is I flip this in half and I put it up just a little bit, hold it to where I originally had it. So, and then I use this because I'm allergic to the, to the, uh, strips from the the line from the port from the needle to the port access to the actual line so I use these okay so now I also right now none of this stuff is sterilized with all packs um I also have a few heparins and I always have more because sometimes you can't draw some blood. Sometimes you can run some fluids through it or push fluids fast and see if it draws back. If not, then sometimes you can drop some few heparin through it. And if there's something caught into the line, it'll kind of help push it out. Sometimes you get little clots in that. So you push through some heparin and wait and hit it again, then you can get the line done. And I also keep several um, saline flushes. So, I have my area clean. So what we're gonna do first, we're gonna open up this dressing pack. Well, in this dressing pack comes two masks, two set of gloves. It comes with a, um, It comes with a thing to um, put down a um, sterile field. Now, like I said before, 
I'm just doing this part to show you how it's actually supposed to be done. I don't really do this. I do it a different way. Um, then you open up your um, gloves. And I'm going to tell you the easiest way to put these on is, you see left and right? Do it just the opposite. You put the left on first with your right hand. You put the right glove on with your left hand. Trust me, it's easier that way. So, so we take, this is why we take the left hand first. Because you are going to be doing it like this. And it is hard as heck to do it with going the other way. And this is the right glove. Now you would have been fighting with it if you would have been actually going the way it says. So, I have very, very short fingers. You have two sets of gloves. I'm not going to burn the second glove. I'm just going to let it sit. Okay. I have an extra mask. I don't have anybody in here with me. The other set of gloves. I don't want them. Now, yeah, that was for the uh, other gloves or for uh, this disinfection, but you know, uh, there is this that I don't use. This is what you use to disinfect the site around you. It is um, it's chloroform prep, and a lot of states don't allow this. So I am going to go ahead. I'm gonna break it. And shake it up. Let it get all nice and wet. Put it on the sterile field. This is the dressing that I cannot wear. Well, I'm just going to take all this crap. Oh, dirty little garbage. Told you I don't do everything what you're supposed to do. Um, so the next thing I'm going to get is I'm going to get my needle out. Sometimes it can be tricky with gloves. Well, I'm not a big fan of them. Okay, the only thing out of that you want to keep is the needle. And you want to keep the purple and the white sticker. And I'll show you why when we get there. So, while we're doing all this, I'm going to take this off um, because I need room. And just be your, bear with me for a moment. Okay. Now, now I take, see where all that, it's, it has nothing to do with anything that I've done. It's not going to take care of itself. i got to do it for it. I'm not putting on those other gloves. I'll put some rubber alcohol on it, see if that helps. And it also helps to sterilize it. And what that is, is that a stickiness that has um, now got some material from shirts and what have you. So let's take these gloves off and get rid of them. And where's the other gloves? Of course, we want the other gloves. You can never. So here's our second set of gloves. <sighs> Everything always goes wrong when you're trying to do a, a video about it. Um, I did do a video about this, like 2014, I think. 2014. Um. And I was very timid. I've come a long way since starting videos. I was so embarrassed. But, you know, 
can't laugh with, with yourself and who can you laugh with? And again, I gotta pull the fingers out. Okay, so now we're gonna get the bio port out. I mean, the bio pad. Bio port. It's a bio pad. And here's the alt site. Valve. There is so much. So putting all this together. We're not using that. We will use this. And we will use this. Okay. So, as you can see, the Huber needle has a needle that has something on it but it reminds me of like a little um hummingbird hummingbird so with this we're going to take this off we're going to unclamp this and we're going to put this together and we are going to finally clean this site now, my skin is already irritated from the last dressing change. My skin's so sensitive to everything. And all that, that is adhesive stuff coming off from the chlorophyll is where it's removing it off of it. And you can see I'm so irritated. Um, there's just a lot of stuff that I can't, my body can't use anymore. And I have a lot of allergies. Um, so, what do you do? You just keep going and going and going and do what you got to do. And how you got to do it. That's what you got to do. So, I don't know why I do this. I have to have my glasses on when I do this. Um, and then, uh, while we let this sit and dry, um, I'm opening up a flush. Um, and then you're going to Pull back and get it through. Okay. Now we're going to take it just like that and twist it. Oh, we don't need that right now. And this is when you are flushing through because you don't want any air of that coming through your port. So you're just, you know, just a little bit. Don't take a lot. And so you go ahead and you take a little thing off of it. And it should be getting nice and dry by now. And I can't blow on it, so I just got to take my word for it that it's dry. And um, yes, having one of these is, is nice because nobody can, um, you know, they can't do, they can't say, they can't pull blood out of your arms anymore. So, I got that through there. So now I'm going to take this uh, skin prep. And I'm going to put it all around here. And the reason why I'm doing it is because that is what it is. It is a skin prep. And what it's going to do is it is going to help with adhesive. And it will also help with my skin uh, integrity. So we're going to let that sit here and we're going to let that cool off because 
if I was to go ahead and put a needle in it right now, um, I'm going slow, but I'm going slow for you. Um, if I was to go ahead and put a needle in it right now, it could help it, um, it could help it bleed. And we don't need any excess bleeding. Uh, I take medication for bleeding. So, now, let's see if I can do this with that thing watching. Or even with gloves on, I might not be able to. Okie dokie. I'm at one. Some things that you just cannot do without your fingers being open. Ooh. Let's hope this went. It feels like it's in there. It looks like it's in there. Oh, let's take a look. Yay! Look at that. We got blood. First try. Woohoo! All right. And you seen that blood? Okay. Let her go. Why have I still got blood in my port? It shouldn't still be staying there. Okay, she's flushing. There we go. Okay. Now, we got all of that done. Now, I cannot do this with my gloves. I cannot work with sticky anything um when i have my gloves off so and since i am not okay so since i don't use their um since i don't use their um their appliance their their Since I don't use their dressing and I use a different dressing because of um, allergies, um, I am going to open it up and I am keeping this hooked up to my port for right now. It helps keep um, bacteria down. So I'm going to keep this attached for a few moments because it also helps me navigate um, how my port needs to sit, if it can go up, get it, if I need to push, scrunch it up a little bit, and may, it might give me a better blood flow, or whatever, um, that wasn't too bad of blood flow, but I would prefer a, um, easier one, uh, sometimes, um, like, I do, I do IV hydration, so a lot of times with IV hydration, it's not that bad. But then when you kick in the, um, the IV, uh, medication, the, the IV medication is, is sticky. And I know this from, uh, having a needle that was too big to go into, uh, one of my little vials and it coming back out and getting on me, it was sticky. And usually it was a finnegan. So after it being ran through, ran through, ran through, it gets sticky. So I tend to flush a little bit more often because I don't want my port to get sticky. So.
I want to, I need to do some. And I cut a little spot, which I didn't do it before I did this. I cut a little spot because, like I said, I am allergic to um, this tubing. And when you're allergic to it, it just, it causes, um, it causes blisters. I have enough blisters. My Crohn's is in full swing flare up. However, I am so used to pain that, um, sometimes it doesn't even, um, affect me. So, let's see. Yeah, how good this is setting. No, oh, yeah, it goes better like that. And you see what I did? See what I did right here? I just put it just over the top because it does. It helps hold it where I need it to be. Um, and it flushes better. So, uh, now I'm going to heifer lock it. And I have these little orange things. Um, they're called swab caps. Um, you can get them in most hospitals, like when you're a patient. Uh, they're usually green. Uh, my my uh, infusion center sends them out to me, and they are great orange. So now this other half. I reinforce um, my pork, and why I reinforce it is because sometimes, um, okay, my glasses off. Sometimes, whenever um, I'm in bed, I'm in, I'm on the couch, um, I'm, I'm hooked up to my pork. Um, I might swiftly move or just think that I have more cord than I thought I had and it pulls on this and when it pulls it's pulling on my port needle and so um, I could do some damage and uh, I have in the past when I had home health, home health I did do that I got it caught on a cabinet in my kitchen and it hurt like a beast. So I really try not to do that here at home. So what I do is I put, where is the bottom of that thing? I put this on it. And I do it for protection. And my port. And you guys remember me showing you this. And I got it down. Yeah. One is for CT. And one is just for blood. Um, I have a CT one. So the purple one goes... I'm going to put it up here. Um, if I put it on the line itself, 
it gets so it gets twisted off and all that. So I'm just gonna stick it right up here on this little bird. Now, the other thing that you have to do though, when you have when you do these things your own, and there for a while I was slacking off. And the reason was is I was just getting I was just getting too lax on what I needed to do. So you need, I don't care if it's here, here, or here. You need to put the time, the date, and your initials on here. Um, say you um, got sick. You were sent to the hospital. Um, and first of all, they don't even know you have a port. Which that's what this is. It has my Zorocco, my port, everything in it. And um and I got looking something like this. So it's just like a piece of jewelry, but it's really not. And um so so they know how long you've had your had your flash changed and and everything. So you don't have to go through another change. Cause it is bad on your skin. So what time is it? It is 816, so it's 2016 military time. My initials are AS and it is 11 for 2017. And it is very important because I've even had a nurse to actually change my port out before my my needle and because he wrote it in such a different spot um they told me they told them to go change it again because they couldn't find it and he had changed it and i told them that they didn't listen to me um but they did finally find it so um if you have any questions concerns anything about what the power cord is, what it's used for, what's the difference between um, a power cord and just a, an actual, um, I don't know if that's even considered a power cord. Um, it's a non-CT rated level. Do not use port for power injection. So it's just a port. It's not a, it's not a power it's, do not use port for power injection. So it's just a port. It's, you just can't use it for power injections. So there you have it. So if you have any, like I said, any thoughts, concerns, whatever, um, I'm on here. I have three other um, older um, videos up, and I will attach them. So please like, subscribe, um, anything. All my information will be down in the uh, description. So thank you. Have a good night and the rest of your weekend.